Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday Check-In. So this past Sunday, we enjoyed a meditation based on exploring the symbolism within the Swedenborgian cross, which is the logo for our denomination. And so after that, my mind just keeps coming back to a thought that was inspired by Reverend Gladys Wheaton about how important it is that in the Swedenborgian cross, the symbol of the cross itself is held within the circle of the oneness of God. And so the cross not only represents Christ and what Christ did for us, but also represents the necessity of our vulnerability, of wholeheartedly, with courage, with accountability and humility, engaging our spiritual challenges and engaging our flaws and our mistakes and then engaging what we need to learn from them. And the comfort is in knowing that all of that work of vulnerability is held within the embrace of God represented by the circle. God holds us safe and fast as we do our hard spiritual work. And um, as we feel whatever we need to feel, um, whatever tension or conflict or just the unresolved things that's inherent in the spiritual work that we need to do. And as we go through our spiritual challenges, we can know that God is with us in a complete and sort of surrounding way, you know, as pictured by the circle. And I know that I've used Psalm 139 in these check-ins before, but I just can't help thinking of it again, particularly with um, verse 5. Uh, you hem me in behind and before, as well as verse 10, right? Even there, Lord, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. So I thought I'd just use those verses today for us to take a moment to practice an awareness of our vulnerability being held by God. So if you'd like to join us, then I invite you to just settle in your seat and to take a deep breath. And if you wish to, close your eyes. Let's take another deep breath in and out and invite some stillness. And so let's now bring to mind something that makes us feel vulnerable. Perhaps some challenge, some tension, some dilemma in our lives that we don't quite know how to resolve, that perhaps we don't feel ready for or able to rise to, or that we would rather avoid. Let's just sit for a moment in that discomfort and feel that cross upon our heart. Okay, so now let's imagine that that cross that is upon our hearts is surrounded by a circle of God's love. The tension remains, it's not erased. We're still going to be called to do whatever we need to do in terms of learning and growing with this challenge. But the whole of it is surrounded by God's steadfast presence. And as we imagine this, let's call to mind the words of the psalm and place those words on our heart as well. From verse 5. You, God, hem me in behind and before. Breathing in and breathing out. You, God, hem me in behind and before. Breathing in, breathing out. 
Even here, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Breathing in, breathing out. Even here, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Breathing in, breathing out. In gratitude, God, we accept the awareness of your presence and your love. Amen. And with one final breath in and out, you are invited to return to whatever space you Thank you so much for joining us for this little moment together. And uh, we do hope that you will be able to join us at church this Sunday, either in person or online, 10.30 a.m. Have a wonderful week, everyone.